Okay, guys and gals. So now we're going to um, ultimately uh, for this video seat on the uh, Lee Challenger breech lock. Uh, so all right, I'm going to remove this uh, Lee Classic cast and let me grab this Challenger press. First off, I gotta, I just gotta tell you guys, I just had the most amazing dinner. Uh, uh, chicken with uh, this incredible uh, sweet and spicy barbecue sauce by by Smitty's Beard Sauce, and we had this uh, potato casserole that my wife made and green bean. I did not want to come out here and make this video, but hey, at least at least I'm not going hungry. So, all right, we, we have our uh, Lee uh, Breech Lock Challenger single stage press into position. Now, I'm going to uh, show you a different way of seating. It's, uh, a little bit more precision, but I want you to understand something. This is a beginning reloading series, and well, now wait. Beginning reloading, look at the prep work we did on the case, but that should always be done. But what we're going to do with uh, seating our bullets for this video, um, take what you want, leave what you don't, okay? So here we go. <clears throat> so, so now we have our our press setup and I need to charge some cases so uh, re remember can, can you guys see that um, here I'll just pull that back so remember <coughs> keep your uh, powder covered as you are in and out of using your press and what we're going to do I'll just steal some cases from over here and uh, I'll just do uh, another batch of 10. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to kind of show you this. One of the neat things about this uh, Lee uh, Deluxe Perfect Powder Measure is you don't necessarily have to uh, uniform it every time. It's something I've learned about this is because uh, in this position, the your drum is empty, so the, the the powder pretty much stays uniform. So as you see through the charge, it's spot on. Okay, so uh, pretty nice. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't uh, you know check the charge uh, like I just did. But just a little note for observation. Okay. Now, um, on this uh, breech lock, uh, there's something I'm going to show you about this breech lock. And in my opinion, just my opinion, okay, uh, it's going to give you a little bit of uh, built in precision. And you're wondering, well, what do I mean by that? Well, I tell you, I've always said this on my channel, if I'm going to say something, I'm going to have a reason. I'm going to back it with a reason. So I'll show you what I mean. So, all right. Fantastic. Now, um, it's always wise to make sure that, <clears throat> you know, after you uh, charge a batch of cases, regardless of how many you do, you always want to uh, re-verify that, you know, you're metering the, uh, the same charge and you'll see we, we look pretty good there. Um, now, uh, okay, I, I love this. I got to do this. You guys who have been following this series, you've seen me do this in past videos. We, we mix it up, you see, because of how Lee's designed this, you can you can move it, you can you 
can have fun with it. I'm telling you, I've uh, I've been working with this. This is a very uh, dependable setup. It's, it's unique to Lee. You saw me move it, place it back into position. There we go. Um, <clears throat> okay, there we go. So um, that's only that's something you can only do on the lead. Now, uh, before I begin seating my bullets, the next step in the process, now you guys be quiet. Okay, I'm trying to concentrate. Definite <coughs> built-in uh, safety step. So, so now, how do we uh, set this uh, seat die up based off the last video? Run your uh, shell holder up to top dead center. Run, run your lock ring all the way up. Make sure your seat stem is all the way up. Now we're going to begin threading this down. Now, you always want to read the instructions on your dies. But do you want to know why Lee says that once you touch that shell holder, drop the shell holder, turn the die body another quarter turn and go down? You want to know why? It's because the Lee single stage presses, they're not designed for cam over. <clears throat> Therefore, it enables you to come all the way down, lock out solid, and it's going to be the same every time. And that is a trick to um, uh, how they get the seats to come out just perfect every time. Okay, now, once we have it that way, now, a little force on the handle that will keep that die body locked in place. We can simply run this lock ring down like that. Very nice. <clears throat> now, um, I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, I get a lot of guys, when they come to the channel, they badmouth these lock rings. Can I ask you a question? Something wrong with that lock ring? Now, make sure you get it snug because this breech lock system is going to work to our advantage and we want it nicely locked up. So, this seat stem, we, we have it um, somewhere uh, you know, close to the top of its thread, so we don't uh, initially uh, overseat the bullet. Now, <clears throat> based off the last video, what are we going to what are we going to do first? First thing you're going to do, you're going to soft seat the bullet. Not really worried about um, where your uh, cartridge overall length is at. We're going to come up. It's top dead center, and um, as you see, we have nothing happening. We will adjust. Okay. Um, once again, um, let's uh, score a spot. I have a straight edge. Take a, a razor blade like this. Be uh, very careful. You're going to score a line. That's going to give you um, a place of reference. Now going to begin turning this down until I just touch, make contact with the bullet. Now, we're going to begin soft seating. Okay. And I just do this to get a little feel. Okay. Now, that is now soft seated. And I know uh, easily I have a ways to go. And I can look at th this score mark and I go about three quarters to one turn. At this point, we are taking a uh, length measurement. We want, okay, now wait. I know it's 2.250, but you don't do it that way. Um, oh, I moved my book over to here. <clears throat> and believe it or not, I was in reading this while I was having dinner, so let me open this. Uh,
go to great extremes to always re-verify what you're thinking. Don't, don't depend on um, your <coughs> memory. Okay. Um, so, so now two point two five zero. I'm well above that. I'm at um, two point three eight nine and a half or R nine. So now this is the uh, the game. The game is is we have X amount to go, and I have uh, this score. And you're going to begin in your head seating. And you're going to pay attention to how far your dial moves. And you're going to in your head begin making uh, guesstimations uh, based off of experience. Repetitious, okay? You ask me how much, I say do it a bunch, you get a feel. It's just a feel, you, you just got to do it. Okay, I got about 35 thousandths to go. Yeah, you want to avoid overseeding. I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. Now, I'm gauging what a quarter turn gives me. I just want a hair over a quarter. See, you break it up to quarter turns or a hair over a quarter, and then and that is what happens when you have a really good chicken dinner. <clears throat> All right, um, why is it that we don't want to overseat? We learned in the last video that. That's going to increase internal pressures. Are you with me? <clears throat> but we have a bit of a built-in safety margin. Do you remember what that is? That uh, built-in safety margin is... Oh, by the way, I don't know how to reload. I just want you to know that. But, <laughs> guys, uh, I can barbecue the chicken, so you guys just come on over. I'll set you up. Um, so, our built-in safety margin is we're starting low. If you overseat, it's going to buy you safety margin. So, if you overseat, and uh, I'm just going to throw value out there by, by five thousandths, don't worry about that. Readjust that die so you're not overseating. You would rather underseat and be five thousandths longer than about five thousand shorter. Are you with me? Now, <clears throat> I'm going to show you something. This is a beginning reloading, and uh, we took time to prep these new cases, and we have a fabulous case, Starline, Starline Brass. So now, here's another way you can seat. You can come up, now that we have this set for cartridge overall length, you can soft seat it, turn it about 180, and complete it. What this does is this uh, gives us uh, concentricity from the bullet to the case. It's better aligned to itself. Think of that, okay? And we're there. Lee does a very nice job with their dies. So, you can do this however you want. You can seed it with one stroke, or you can seed it with two strokes and a 180 rotation. For me, I'm open sights. Optics change the rules on everything. It puts, it puts optics on your rifle, puts everything in one plane field. Okay? It takes you uh, to your target in magnification. For open sights, I don't have that. Okay? So, for me, until I get scopes for my rifle, really, 
some of the best uh, ammunition right there um, some guys are good some guys have excellent eyesight and I'm telling you um, I've always had excellent eyesight up until oh I don't know about five years ago and now I, I wear glasses and, and just if, if I could just be frank with you guys for a moment because I like that I, I like the name of Frank but guys I'm a blind son bitch I'm just I'm just hey I'm being honest with you and, and I don't even know how to reload so you're in, you're in a lot of trouble but I think you see what's going on here what's going on here is you are loading some really good ammunition um, now I want to talk about this uh, breech lock setup alright I want you to watch this watch this do you see that cartridge where did I put these? Where did I put these? Right there in front of my face. Couldn't even see them. All right. Uh, I'm not worried about it. 2000 slot. Don't worry about it. Got, got other things to worry about. I'm going to take this and I'm going to set it one row over so we stay on topic. With the breech lock, enables you to do is uh, quite a few things but I'm going to point two up okay stay with me on this with <laughs> okay hang on hang on I, I over snuck it what the breech lock enables you to do you can remove it when you put it back into place without way over torquing it like I just did. When I come here like this and I seat my next bullet, You with me? All right. We are getting the same cartridge overall length, but we're getting something else. I want you to think about this. Now, these are the two cartridge cases I just did. I did this one, I removed the die, and I did that one. Now, going to show you this. When you think about this, when I removed the die, it went back pretty doggone close to the same elevation, but it was clocked to the same position as me. One thing that I try to do in my reloading uh, with all my reloading, whether it's handgun or rifle. I try to duplicate everything as perfect as I can from cartridge case to cartridge case to cartridge case. Are you with me? If we were able to remove this, and we were able to put it in, but it was 180 out, well, would that be the same as When I loaded that, that wouldn't would it. But because of how Lee has this designed, this is one of the things that really sold me. There's only one machined locking position that this can be in. So this would tell me that when I put this die in, not only is it to the same deck height, but it's clocked to where it was. So that would mean that if I had developed a load that was actually very well matched to my optics, 
and if I really had the two-stroke rotation down on seeing the bullet like this, you know, you were soft seating, spinning the cartridge roughly 180. Some guys do it different, but then you soft seat it again. That die, it was in the same spot, pretty doggone close. Not everything is so perfect. Remember, not all snowflakes are the same, but it's pretty doggone close for what we're doing. So now, conceivably, we could say, if you were double stroking all these bullets into position and you double stroke this, this is going to be as close as those were. But likewise, we'll take this last one, and with everything I did to that die, okay, that completed cartridge because of the design of that breech lock. This was positioned in that die the same as that. You with me? That is the built-in precision behind that. I like this. I've been working with this. It's a very nice system. Very nice. This is uh, this little Challenger. This is a great press, let me tell you. Uh, I, I've, I've, I've been telling you guys this. A progressive loader or a progressive machine is a fabulous thing. I think it's a great thing. But for most people that only have so much of this, the only thing it does is it allows you to load the same amount of ammo that you normally would have in a shorter time. But what this single stage, this one right here, this, this beginning, entry level, very affordable reloading press, this will load more ammunition than most people will shoot in their lifetime. If you're uh, loading four or five hundred rounds more a week, or I'll even say this, if you're competing, this isn't for you. But if, if you really have that time to reload, this is a great place to start and then work your volume up. But as far as precision, this is a great, it's a great place to be, just not for a beginner, but for anybody. This is a nice setup. Now, this uh, breech lock, the way to go on the classic cast, it just is because of what I just showed you. Uh, before, removable bushings, I just haven't bought into it. Because if a removable bushing can be clocked into another position when you put it in, it didn't really get you much. With this, it's the same every time. I, I really like that. So I, I hope that gives you uh, something to think about. So there we go. So we've uh, we've uh, well we've we've got uh, two ten round bashes all all uh, uh, seated and they look great and we got them to two point two five zero. If if you don't get that two point two five zero every time uh, first working up to that don't don't worry about that don't worry about that. That just comes with being able to read where you've scored and go back and forth with the calipers you know and. And I, I don't even know how to reload, and so you guys will be better than me at it, trust me. And you all have a YouTube channel, and I'll subscribe to all of your channels. So now, um, you know what, uh, the next step is to uh, crimp these, uh, but i got to do some reloading on my own. So you guys are going to have to, you just have to, you know, go, I don't know, go find another channel, watch some videos for a while, and so I'm going to have some fun. So guys and gals, that's the end of this video. God bless. We'll see you on the next video.